you today this is granny karma and welcome to my channel if you are new here and you like what you see and receive some benefit please hit the subscribe button and the like button and um, the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I do upload a new video guys you know I was at my local Piggly Wiggly and I bought this from the pick five um, what I love about this store is you can buy five packages of, of a variety of different meats for under for $17.88. So I'll get maybe two packages of turkey necks like I did this time. I'll get two packages of the ground beef like I did this time. And then my last package I'll either add you know whatever I can add a pack of, of uh, chicken wings or whatever but I love that idea of being able to mix and match five different meats so I'm going to show you a really quick recipe guys this is a no frills no fuss recipe um, the cost is well under ten dollars and it will feed a family of four or five or six because you get so much meat and I'm just going to show you how uh, I make my quick and delicious turkey necks smothered in onion and in cream of mushroom soup. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash my meat of course really well and what I like to do guys is I start with the bigger pieces I try to get small pieces because I kind of like the smaller to medium pieces, but they mix a variety in each package. So what I'll do is I'll take the big pieces and I'll start cooking those first. I'll cook those for maybe about 15 minutes or so before I add the other ones because of course the smaller pieces are going to get done sooner than the big pieces. So I want them all to get done right around about the same time. And as I said, we're going to smother this in the cream of mushroom soup and have it over some delicious white rice. So guys, uh, I'll come back once the pot is boiling and I'm ready to add my onion and uh, ready to add my cream of mushroom. And then we're just going to let it sit on the stove and simmer, simmer, simmer until it's nice and done. I'll see you back here once the pot gets to boiling. Okay guys, so I just put the large pieces in a pot of water. Just make sure you cover your meat and, you know, just let it start cooking. I'm going to put a lid on this. And as you can see, there's some pretty large pieces in here. And um, also guys, I want to apologize. I hope that you can see this, but um, my kitchen windows are completely open and the sun shines in it depends on what time of the day that i'm filming I'll, I'll, I'll show you what i mean see this is the back of my um over my stove this is over my stove guys and the windows are completely open so the sun shines in but I don't want to cover those windows because I love looking out and looking out at the trees and all. So that's what you're seeing when you see the different lights. I can't control that, but um, I'll try to get as clear a picture as I possibly can. Well, the turkey necks are in the pot. Um, they haven't started boiling yet, but I just wanted you to see that. They're about to start. I have this eye on Hi, I'm going to put my lid on and I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so they have been cooking for about an hour and a half. And they have a little, you see how easily that kind of went through? They still have a little, you know, texture going here. So now it's about the time that I add my cream of mushroom soup. And you just take it out. You don't have to mix it with anything. Just take it out and put it into your big pot of turkey necks. 
Also, you can do this with uh, turkey legs, you know, turkey legs and thighs, whatever it is that you are cooking. Now, the turkey, I usually would do that in the oven, but the turkey legs and thighs I would do in the oven. But um, the turkey necks, I love doing them on top of the stove like this. And I'm just going to add two cans in here, guys. So that's one. And we'll just add our second can. Just take it and put it right in there. I'm telling you, when they came out with this cream of mushroom soup, so many women was happy because we were able to come up with some amazing recipes from that. There's a mushroom there, guys. <laughs> Let's get that. <laughs> Let's just get that in there. Okay. Now, uh, we're just going to take our spoon and kind of stir this around. Just like this. Just stir it around. And it's going to dissolve in here really quickly because of the fact that you know your pot is really hot now what I would do is I would add my spices and so I'm going to be using um, like I said in the beginning I think I said in the beginning anyway I'm gonna add some salt got to put lots in there now because I didn't put any at all I'm going to add in a little pepper okay I know that seemed like a lot, but <laughs> I guess it is a lot. And I'm going to add in a little um, powdered garlic. I usually add the same ingredients, guys, for a lot of my food. You know, everything is so, so similar. Okay, I just added that garlic in there, garlic powder. Now I'm just going to add a little minced garlic. Just a little, right? <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> okay. And now this one I add in all of my delicious onion. Look at that. That is about five onions. And I just slice it up and we're just going to put it all on top. Now this is just going to simmer. Uh, and I would say for at least uh, probably another hour and I'm just gonna monitor it and if I need to come in and add more water I will but we're just gonna let it simmer now stir it up you can see a nice broth is forming already that is going to be so good with some white rice so you see that big piece there and then we got the smaller piece but of course what I showed you make sure you start the big pieces first now we're just going to um, cover it and just let it simmer 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 a little sauce on there so okay now we're going to cover it again and I'm just going to let it simmer and um, like I said I'll come back and check to see if I need to add a little water to it and once it cooks a little bit I'm going to taste it and see if I need to add any additional seasoning but for right now we're going to just let it kind of coast right on in okay I'll come back and show it to you in about 30 more minutes. So it's been cooking um, for about an hour and a half, I think, at least about an hour and a half. And uh, I'll come back in about 30 minutes and we'll check it then, okay? Be back with you soon. When you cover it, kind of leave your, your lid a little ajar, just a little bit, you know? Just have a little steam escape. Okay, be back in about 30 minutes, guys. 
Okay guys, so now I have my turkey necks on a bed of white rice. Let's take a quick bite. It's hot, so uh, I just want to taste it for you. And for me, I want you to notice how the meat just falls right off the bone. Just right, just like that. <laughs> so tender and delicious, guys. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Guys, I hope you try this recipe at home, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> just give me a minute. As you can see how tender it is, and the meat actually just falls off of the bone. Look at that. Just look at that. So tender and delicious. Look at that delicious gravy, mushroom gravy. And these turkey necks are tender, moist, juicy, and delicious. mushroom gravy is delicious guys so try this at home I hope that you enjoy this and I'm gonna eat my turkey necks and my rice and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye now so good